how you express your ideas and, exp and, and, uh, and in what form you learn about those ideas and then ultimately how you put those ideas out into the world, how you make them real, how you implement them and how you, how you relate to the fields of engineering and business and everything else that's necessary. So um, it's at, at the abstract level a very simple process, at the detail level right. a lot of possibilities, a lot of complexity. We're trying to help the, the companies that we invest in with design uh, and one of the main ways we do that is a, is a design sprint, which is really all about the details, as Tim was saying. So it's all about how they actually execute these steps, which are hard in the abstract, and, and use those steps to learn really quickly, which is what they need to do. The critical thing is that once you have formed a hypothesis about what you think is going to happen in the world, the key idea is to put it to the test as soon as possible. So not five years from now, not ten years from now, not six months from now, but today, as soon as, as, soon as humanly possible, to get the initial validation about whether your idea is good or bad. Uh, and so we call it the minimum viable product, the smallest amount of work necessary to start that process of learning.